Hi, welcome to Power M Query. Today I'm going to show you how to change the data granularity dynamically. Consider this example. This is the database and this is the result. If you change the granularity from daily to weekly and refresh this table, it's going to provide the weekly result. And if you select monthly and again refresh this table, it's going to provide monthly result. Let's learn how to create this dynamic data granularity changer. To create this report, just select this cell and let's press Alt A V V or from data tab, select data validation. Put it under list and define all the variation. Daily, monthly, and weekly be careful about the space here as well as and press ok now we can select any of these type of reports then select these cells and from the name box convert it to the parameter and then press load to the power query to load this parameter inside the power query the parameters provided as the column of table, but we do not need like this. So remove this step as well as promote header. This is the parameter. Just right click on it and make drill down to convert it to text. Then press close and load to and pick only create connection. Now we create a parameter and load it into the power query. In the next step, we need to load this table into the Power Query. So select it and from table load it into the Power Query. Before involving the parameter, let's see how we can convert the granularity of this report from daily to monthly or weekly. To do this, we need to select these columns and then from Transform tab, convert this value to the week. It's easy. Just select date and select week and pick week of year and yeah it does so it provides the week of year as a report of each date then you can right click on these columns and select group by and say calculate sum of quantity and call it as a and call it as a total quantity and press ok by doing this the daily report is converted to the weekly report but if you go back and change time and here instead of weekly select months and press insert yeah it's going to convert every day to the months and we do not these steps and see the result of group R. it's going to provide monthly report so by changing the type of operation let's back this step select this column and again in the date say that instead of the number of months report the name of months and press ok we do not need the next step because it was related to preview solution and again see you provide the monthly report if you want you can go back and here and say we want to provide the quarter of years and press enter we do not need this one and it's going to calculate the sales per quarter so this is the step that we need to modify so if the parameter would be quarterly this is the function that should be used but what if parameter is weekly in this case instead of this formula we need to use another function so let's write here if parameter is equal to quarterly then use this function else if parameter is equal to weekly be careful power query is case sensitive so if it would be weekly then the function that should be applied over the date value is date dot week of year again else if parameter 
is equal to monthly the function should be then date dot month and else in in the else condition the parameter is daily in the daily case we do not want to apply any modification just write date from and press enter yeah it provide an error for the else yeah this is not else 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 and yeah So let's check the result. If you come here, as this is the weekly, the report is provided weekly. And if you check it as a monthly, the report, if you refresh it, provide the monthly report. And if you convert it to the daily and refresh it, it's provide blank. And mention 22 error is provided. Let's see the reason. Yeah, it's mentioned that uh, the column type is not appropriate so be careful about this column yeah it's because of this step see at the end it mentioned that the type of result is in int 64 we do not need to mention it so yeah by doing this there is no error anymore